Hey there, Scratch friends. We have been making a fun little game here. If you haven't started the game, I will include links uh, via cards that you can click to get back to those. But we'll check out this cool addition to the game. Uh, I want an obstacle so that when the butterfly is trying to get the ladybug, if it bumps the obstacle, it bounces away. And this is how easy it is to make it. Uh, let's draw a new sprite. And pick a color that does not exist in your project. I'm going to choose this deep dark blue. And then I'm going to make a box that is just kind of in the way. Or you know what? Instead of a box, I'm going to make a circle. And I'm going to just draw it so it shows up in the middle. I'll even make it look like an oval. And then I'm going to fill it with blue. And then I'll place it where I want. And you know what? I can even make more than one of these. By simply hitting duplicate and then I can space them out and then for our code I'm gonna go back to the butterfly and I'm gonna go to his scripts and the code works like this start with a when I receive the start message find a forever and then we need to put in if then and we want a sense if it's touching a special color put it in the little diamond box change to the color that's special which is our blue and then under motion let's change its direction there's a very cool point in direction command where we could pick a command but I'm gonna even make that more cool by making it do some math so its direction is random so I am just gonna subtract 180 degrees just because that's what I'm choosing from his actual direction which is really sweet if you go down to the bottom of your motion choices you can put his direction inside it and then every time he turns I want him to move 50 steps so I'm gonna go back and find my move and I'm gonna put a 50 in there now it's time to test out your new game and see how your obstacle works. You can see that the uh, butterfly bounces off. You can decide if 50 is the number that you want. You can change all those things. You can see there my ladybug, I still hit it. And then what's kind of neat about this is you can choose to allow the ladybug to hide behind those if you wanted. Or you can put your code in the backpack. So remember, you just drag it down. And so with that code copied... I'm going to start and I'm going to stop and then I'm going to switch to my ladybug and when I bring it in and put that same color now my ladybug also bounces off so it maybe makes it more fair adds variety to the game so have fun see what you can explore make other things you can bounce off this is where the game starts to become yours and you get to make it more and more epic thanks for following I hope you had fun and please like comment and subscribe